Hello, today we're looking at unit, the community port of the once known Unity 8, which has been dropped by Canonical and Ubuntu as we all know, otherwise you most probably won't be looking at this video. And since the porting, it got some major, major changes. I'm running this in Ubuntu. In Ubuntu 16.4 using Wilterbox, I got a quad core processor given to this VM and 4 gigabytes of RAM, so it gave it plenty of power. And as you can see, it, it got some major improvements by the stability of the system. When I looked at it before, it was pretty crappy. <laughs> I don't want to say that word, but it wasn't very good and it was very slow to response. Everything isn't perfect yet, but it's much better. Things they have done, if you look at their release notes, you can see it in the description of this video. They added, they, they backported QT 5.9 to this, to unit to Ubuntu 6.4 for, for unit and it works amazingly. They are basically working on getting unit on Ubuntu 17.10 and many other amazing things. They really said, I said, and you can see they really placed many hours of hard work during this summer and it really pays off. It really paid off. It looks beautiful. As you can see, this is the lock screen. As I said, it's not perfect yet. So don't expect a perfect system. I want you to, t I want to use it one day again for my, at least on one of my computers, but it's not there yet. But if you look at my previous video, from a few months ago and you look at this video and you will see a improvement upon improvement upon improvement for stability like sometimes you have to swing your mouse around still to get it done and but it's so much better and it's really you can see they are getting here as you can see the system settings looks very familiar to the new GNOME 3.26 and the new KDE system settings and they were the first they got Lightboard done, it's also st starting to work much better to run classic epic applications in Unity Unit, I mean and the system settings, yeah, it just works well I moved in my virtual machine. It feels better when you move it like this. The mouse, when you, if your mouse gets stuck, just move it up to the speed. It really helps. Vol uh, volume, volume, you can just scroll and up, down. As you can see, it, this looks very neat. And yeah, I tried to make this video on hardware, but I was able to install Kazam and Simple Screen Recorder and both work but the recording was bad so it's not perfect yet there and when I try to plug in my external HDMI recorder it saw it as a different screen like a touch screen because the UV ports also got a lot to work on and it didn't show my, it changed my monitor into like a touch screen and I couldn't show you anything. So that's why I couldn't use that. It's a pretty cheap HMI recorder. I bought it for 40 bucks from eBay. As you can see, the system settings of the dock works much better. In the past, there were like black dots on the library of, the library of icons, no longer. It's awesome. And as you can see, it's all the apps pre-installed which is on your computer. And it's really good. The terminal works as expected. 
if you open up this one as you can see it also opens up in a small box and then goes you first have to type in your password it's quite neat actually press ok and then you can use it as a normal terminal window tiling to the sides it worked it worked on my main machine to to uh, to the sides but in my VM just to the top and you can run commands apt update and let's upgrade our computer also as you can see it works just fine it sort as your password even though you have to type it at, in, at the beginning also as you can see it runs just stunningly as expected and you can also install programs after installing the program you also have to you also have to log out and log in again because otherwise it might not appear in your dock at the moment as you can see the sort of the center opens up it's still a bit slow the newer one of 3.26 is much quicker so it's be fantastic when they ported this unit to Windows 70.10 it will also give us a new kernel and I, says, I can only imagine this will all work much better library office if you open it up as you can see the search works stunningly you can install all apps you want some works better than others but stock apps works just fine and if i do my language switch from english to russian if i have it you will have to change it here the settings As you can see, library office looks a bit odd, in a sense. Like, it doesn't look like the newest person yet. It works, but, and I'm sure you can change the theme, but it doesn't look like a stock library office theme, which fits in with the rest of the desktop. So there's a lot of work to do, but it's... Man, it's so much better. It works much better. It's much smoother. I can't wait for to see what these guys are going to do with it. I think it's a great step that they continue with it and they got some sponsors and the community is really getting behind them. It's awesome. I can see why Ubuntu for now moved to GNOME because their GNOME version looks stunning, but I can also see why unit must continue and is continuing because man it's just such amount of improvements and there's absolutely a place for unit thank you developer team thank you so much for working on this and making a great great operating system desktop interface for us to enjoy and i will keep you posted on the journey of unit thank you for watching see you later please subscribe and goodbye